Um, I have this idea, I just came up with it tonight. It's called Godel and Completeness and the Infinite Symbology Zoo of a Level 1 Multiverse of Infinite Math. <clears throat> well, first off, um, think of any type of relational symbol, like a equal sign or a greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to um, say proportionals or approximately proportional. All these symbols they have to run out um, in an infinite multiverse or in the star universe. Um, they have to run out. They have to repeat over and over again infinitely. Um, the arrangements of atoms are the black marks that make up these things. These symbols would have to repeat over and over again eventually. They can't go on forever. Um, the, I believe there's an entropy to math, to the symbols relating to conveying the meaning of the terms and math symbols. Um, numbers, they go on forever, two, three, four, five, you know, and so on. Um, but uh, the way we convey them, we can't possibly write, go on, you know, forever. We use scientific notation to convince it. Uh, but still, uh, it can only be convinced so much with scientific notation. Um, it would repeat. It would repeat. It would go on forever. It would go on forever, and you can't possibly think of any sort of scientific notation to cover infinity. I mean, except for this, you know. But uh, you know, that's just another symbol, and it conveys infinity. Well, <laughs> so um, and an infinite max tag mark of MIT mathematician, I think, computer scientist. He came up with some. Uh, way to categorize different universes and in the level one universe he talked about all the infinite arrangements of atoms that could be made into one universe those would have to repeat and i believe it's like on the order of 10 to the 55 to the 55 i'm not really sure about the kind of notation but the 10 to the 55 to the 55 repeating and to, to the it would have to repeat over and over again in another universe, infinite universes. And um, so there's an entropy, I think, to the information of symbols in the symbolic, symbolic zoo that doesn't allow a complete conveying of mathematical ideas, logic or geometry or whatever. Godel was a logician. Um, um, so I think there is an entropy, there is a hidden state of mathematics that we can't find out for certain. We can only give a probability of all the infinite math. A hypothetical last mathematician in the universe could not convey every single mathematical truth, even to himself. We're symbolic creatures. We take in symbols and ideas. When we write them down, give them to other people. There's no way that the last mathematician could convey even to themselves the completeness of an infinite repeating level one multiverse of infinite hidden states of math symbols that convey the terms constants, variables. Um, <coughs> So the in level one multiverse symbology zoo is going to be infinite. It has to repeat. We can't determine truth for certain. We can only determine it 
politically. And I believe that ties in this entropy of information, entropy of symbols, the symbology of the hidden states that we'll never be able to convey even to ourselves, being symbolic creatures, ties in to go hell and greatness. Theorem that said, says that we can never really convey truth of an of a, of a, of a, a s assertion or a, the truth of a logical statement. Um, and I believe it ties in with the hidden states of the symbols, symbology of an infinite multiverse and a level one multiverse, really. And there's different other, there's several fours, four levels that Mac Tegmark has, and there's nine levels, I believe, that Brian Green has. And that's not really important, it's just the um, entropy, the hidden states of entropy of a, of a, of symbols. It's been on the back of my mind and I uh, can't even just thought about it. It's not even sort of.